So, here we are. Winter Gardens. How excited are you to be making your debut here? Yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, it's uh, my, my debut run. Obviously, I'll see how I feel tomorrow, but it's a good opportunity and I'm looking forward to it. Just the first time you've walked in and, and had a look around? No, I came like f- five years ago now, I think. I did like a little filming with Van Gerwen and that, but obviously it feels different now that I'm going to actually be playing proper. So. Yeah, you come here in great form as well. You must be excited to get up on that iconic stage. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm in like the best form ever. I think I have dipped a bit leading up to it, but I had a good last women's series in Germany, and um, hopefully I'll play well. But if I don't, I don't. You know, I'll just move on from it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But you never know what's going to happen here. What was it like at home watching the ladies play here last year? It was good. I watched it all. I enjoyed it. I was hoping it was going to be a bit of a longer format. I think best of seven's a bit short, but. Um, yeah, obviously you want to be there, don't you? And um, I'm looking forward to it. And um, hopefully there's four brilliant games. You know, I'd, I'd love to see all the ladies play really well. Are you excited the way the PDC Ladies Series has gone? That standards obviously rising all the time. You're at the forefront of that. And do you think we are going to get longer formats in the future for you ladies to play? Yeah, I think it'd be nice. Obviously, like best of seven. I know we are used to play best of seven, but it's different on the telly and on the stage. And obviously, you've got to get into it straight away, or else you know you're going to be running out of time if you're playing bad. So. Um, but, you know, I think it's growing and growing. I think there's obviously opportunity for it, but you just got to wait for them to, for it to happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does it. I know most of the ladies will be hoping that it does obviously get bigger, but, um, yeah, just time will tell. You won at Lakeside. What would it mean to win here as well? And how do the two compare for you? Um, I don't know. It's a different feeling. I think when I won Lakeside, I was a different player. Do you know, I was sort of coming back from a bad time. And obviously I've dealt with that since then. Do you know, it's... It have been difficult, but um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it in depth that much, but, um, do you know, I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm not I'm not too bothered about anything, and, um, yeah, if I don't win it this year or if I don't win it next year, hopefully at some point I will win it, but, um, yeah, i just got to see how I, how I play. Do you like the favourite tag, obviously, Bookie's favourite and form favourite as well? Do you, do you like being, being the front runner? Uh, I don't know. It's a <laughs> weird one. Um I think even on the bookie side, I am. I don't. F- I think oh, no one really thinks that. There's obviously that it's a good field this year, and um, I don't know. I don't really think about it. <laughs> Do you know, it's one of them. It's just they. Someone's got to be out there, and obviously it was me. But um, yeah, it doesn't really mean it when you go up there. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, the last time you came here, you were twelve, 12 years old. You threw on the stage of Michael Van Gogh. And could you yeah. ever have imagined that you'd be a couple of years later playing in a TV event here? Mm, no, uh, not at all. Obviously, I didn't think that the ladies was obviously get a chance with the PDC but obviously they did and um, yeah obviously I suppose they've been up there but it was only for about 10 minutes so um, hopefully be a bit longer this time but um, yeah I'm looking forward to it and um, yeah it's a good venue in it so how has your life changed over the last 18 months since becoming world champion yeah obviously it's been it's been mad Do you know it's being 18 and a world champion obviously is a, a great opportunity for me and um, yeah I've just obviously excelled from there and I've been playing well and winning stuff and it's been nice you know I'm, I'm so lucky I've got a, I've got a great life and I'm very thankful for that. And just going back to Ali Pali in December how was that experience for you and do you think that could stand you in good stead playing in front of a crowd like that? Yeah I think obviously some of the girls that have been Ali Pali has obviously been on the stage before know what it's like but um, it's a different feeling playing the ladies I think playing at Ali Pali I didn't feel like I had any chance at all <laughs> obviously I didn't play that well I enjoyed it don't get me wrong but you know, it takes time to get used to it, and obviously, I think the ladies it, that will show in the years that the match plays on because obviously we're not used to playing on the stage and we don't get that much opportunity for it. So, but um, yeah, we'll see. You never know what's going to happen. What's the women's series done for your game? You obviously went on that incredible unbeaten run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. Do you know, it's one of the best tournaments I've ever played in. Yeah, you know, I can't wait for the the ones to come. And obviously, it's so professional. It's so well run. And obviously the money's gone up now, so that's a bonus. But yeah, the standards are getting better and better, and um, I look forward to them. Do you know, I'm, I'm I'm glad that they're there. What's your long-term ambition? Obviously, there's been talk. Can you equal Trina's ten world titles? You obviously got time on your side. Do you think that's achievable? Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, it's a that's a lot of years. I think playing. I think I'll take it steady. But um, you know, I just enjoy playing, and obviously, if I if I could get ten. Then I do. If not, I'll, I'm happy with the one. To be fair, you know, it's a great achievement, and um, yeah, obviously I do want more. That is my goal. I do want to be a multiple world champion in the ladies. But um, 
you never know what's going to happen, do you? Do you know, everything could change. But um, right now, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Would you like to get on the main pro tour as well? That's something Lisa's achieved for a Q mm. school. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm playing well enough at all to be anywhere near competing. Do you know, I think I'd need to be 100% right in myself. And I'm not. Do you know, like, that shows the games I've I have played in the last few months, but um, you never know. I don't think about it at all, to be fair, but obviously the standard's magic now, isn't it? so it's going to be difficult. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. But you've always taken your career at your own pace, but what are the, the next steps you want to take in, in your game? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Probably just keep at the Women's Series, and um, I don't know. Honestly, I've got no idea. I'm just sort of like very chill taking it, you know, step by step, and I think that's the best way it's worked for me so far, but... Um, just make sure I'm enjoying it. Do you know, I don't want it to become a chore for me. I still want to make a living out of it and be able to do it, but it also comes with making sure I'm happy. And do you know That comes first, I think, other than playing all the time. Has there been times where you've not been happy playing darts? Oh, God, yeah. Most of the time it's hard work for me mentally, but it's not. it doesn't affect my happiness. You know, When I'm at home, I'm, I'm quite a happy girl and I'm not, I won't let it get me down, but obviously it is very draining when it is going bad. But um, yeah, it's about how you come out of it, and it you know you can't I can't dwell on it. I can't sit there and think that I'm never going to get back to playing well because I do. I I have everyone has dips in forms, and obviously mine are probably a bit more than others. But um, yeah, it's just about the comeback in it. In terms of the general standard on the women's series and here in Blackpool, you look at last year's field and you look at this year's. There are a lot of players that have missed out, obviously, in the on the eight spots. Do you mm. feel like? The, game, the women's game's growing and maybe this sort of tournament could be expanded in the future. Yeah, I reckon obviously you could get, I reckon you could get a good 16, but obviously you have to be really realistic. You know, some of the, the standard isn't amazing. Do you know, that's no, I mean, there's some great players on there. Don't, and there's a lot of players that don't play the women's series that obviously probably just struggle with sponsorship and that. But there is room for it to be obviously expanded. I think eight, you know, there's a good eight there, but there's still a lot of good players missing from that top eight. Um, but yeah, you just got to see how it all plans out, isn't it? And um, yeah, hopefully it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Cheers, Bob. Thank you. So, Bo, you said you said about opportunity. It's a long time mm. to wait, isn't it, from the Ali Ali Pali to the Winter Gardens? Do you think mm. there should be more opportunity for you to appear on TV, especially on Sky? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think to be fair, having a match play is uh, is a big bonus for us ladies. Um, obviously, the WDF so uncertain with most things, it's hard to actually gauge when you are going to be playing again and you know what's going to be there what's going to be available to you and um but i think we're all sort of just happy that this is here and hopefully it'll just stay there and you've got to do it and i think we're all used to it not having been on side that much anyway so yeah we all sort of know what's going to happen and you said about the top eight players do you think oh, there's some players missing out who are, who are the players that are missing out do you think that could should be here mm. um, um yeah i think so i think obviously there's the names that that you would probably assume that was going to be there, but obviously it's just how you're playing at the time. You know, obviously you win one of them women's series that's two grand on the on the thing. It's quite a big jump in some of the prize money, so it just depends what happens on on certain weekends. But um, yeah, I think there's room for a few more, and it'd be good to have more in. You know, and just see different players and see the different standards there is. And your favourite from your half, and then you've got Makura and Fallon in the other <laughs> half. Um, mm. Any preference for who you've? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not too fussed. Do you know, I think, um, you know, if I play well, I'll, I'll be difficult to beat. But if everybody else plays well, then they're going to be even more difficult to beat. Do you know, it's. Um, I don't think form really comes into it because you, you know, a lot can change in a week or two weeks. It doesn't matter what you've been playing like. But um, yeah, it's going to be some. Hopefully, a lot. I just yeah, I'd I'd really enjoy four good games out there, and I think that'd be brilliant for us ladies. A lot of people want. You and Fallon in the final, mm. and uh, you've had some barnstorming matches. In yeah. um, what what would that mean? You know, to show to show people on TV, you know, the public. And yeah, uh, I think if we if we if that did happen and we both played our game, it'd be brilliant. Do you know, it'd be, you know, some of the games we've had me and Fallon have been really good, and obviously she's brilliant, isn't she? There, there's no. Do you know, I think we're all decent <laughs> when we want to be. It's just I think that is the dip with the ladies' game. We're not. We're not always on it. You know, there is games where it's bad and there is games where it's really good. But that's just, I suppose, like the risk they take with having the match players at the standard's not going to be as good as the men. But, um, yeah, I'm not bothered. I'd, I'd obviously I'd like to reach a final and I'd like to play well, but if I don't, I don't. I don't. And, you, and you wouldn't rule out Makura because, you know, she's 
you know, she's got experience as well mm. on the stage and being on TV. Yeah, I wouldn't rule out any of them. I right. think anyone's capable of, um, of obviously beating other players and everyone's capable of beating each other. I think that's just like the way darts goes. You, know, you can't always have a favourite and, and all that. But um, I think there could be a few surprises out there tomorrow. Do you know, I wouldn't put it past any of the ladies to, to beat anyone. Do you know, I'm, no one's unbeatable, isn't it? And your, your first match, Nevelyn, um, mm-hmm. what, what, what did you make of her and um, her story as well? It's, yeah. it's quite amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, I think, do you know, she's a brilliant player. I, I get along well, know her really well. And obviously it must be hard for her, you know, there's no denying that with everything. But, um, you know, I've got to just play her as any other, do you know, I've just got to go up there and try to play my game other than play anybody else. And um, I look forward to it, you know, it's going to be, it's a challenge, you know, I'm not 100% um, certain to win that game, I don't think, do you know. She's, I, she's beaten you. Yeah, she has done, yeah, so <laughs> I think that sort of takes the edge off me, actually, that she yeah. has, has actually beaten her before, and obviously I've beat her, but um, I know it'll be a good game, do you know, so I... I look forward to it. All right, all the best. Thank you, love.